Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about build dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about build dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today we're kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. So as you can tell, we've got Mr. Brandon with us, and taking up uh, the rear, we've got Mr. Tom Lamb, of course, the uh, world famous uh, in parts of Texas songwriter who wrote the Retro Bass and theme song. So um, maybe if we actually catch some fish, Tom will uh, bust out a live version for us today. We are on our second lake of the day. We hit the first lake. We got there like super early. It was perfect, right before sunup, and um, it was COVID closed, so we didn't get to do that. So we, uh, we are now on lake number two, um, getting some, some B-roll with our jackets because it's Texas, it's gonna be like 110 degrees today, so we're not gonna last too much longer in these. The good news is there was like 10 boats at this spot. We rolled in with the jackets, everybody left. So they kind of knew we meant business. Um, and that's one of the benefits of it. So, so that was good. <laughs> They're like, oh wow, these guys. It's, I don't know if they thought we were like like a professional bass team or just like a motorcycle gang. So either way, um, we, we cleared the joint out. So uh, <laughs> stick around. Whoo! <laughs> Jacket's already off. I'm free. They don't breathe. <laughs> they don't breathe. There's one. <laughs> oh man. Come on, buddy. These schooling fish are tough. Welcome to Retro Bassin. That's how it's going today, by the way. <laughs> we started out today in our uh, rayon jackets. Um, it's about 100 degrees out here. And it was a tough morning. We were up early on the bank all day. We worked a bunch of shoreline. We didn't see a whole lot. There's some breaking fish out here right now. Um, we've got some old school baits, including this little uh, Uncle Josh, uh, sort of man's little George deal. Um, that was a nice fish, and uh, we didn't catch him so welcome god it's the worst show ever <laughs> <laughs> so you can't see this but looking at the retro bass and channel and we have got 990 subscribers so i think that this uh epic video will probably put us over the top epic i uh, well you know so it's not as big as the other one <laughs> but oh my goodness You know, when you think of the episode that's going to put us over 1,000 subscribers for Retro Bass, and this is really the kind of fish I think of, I tell you. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be at least what, Brandon? Four or five pounds, probably? Oh, jeez. So I got this on, oh my gosh. <laughs> A little Uncle Josh spin right. These schooling fish are driving us nuts. We are out here trying to uh, get a few bites and they're like just jumping all around us non-stop That is a beast. That is what you call a Texas tank right there. Wow. I can edit that in Photoshop by the way make it look bigger That is a beast That is what you call a Texas tank right there. Oh son. That's a nice fish Oh <laughs> <laughs> I almost went over on that one. Come here, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. there we go. <laughs> well, you guys are talking about drinking games. We were <laughs> catching that guy. Little Mystic Shad floater. Figured I'd finally go deep with these guys, and uh, that's a nice little one pounder. All right, he's not. It's because I'm using like a noodle of a rod that I thought he was a bigger fish. It's still nice. But, oh. Here we go. <laughs> nice little dude. Looks like he got got bit by somebody. <laughs> really is the Bowman show. 
Okay, wait a second, Chris. What was that? What did you just say? Just want to get it. If if Tom if Tom catches a fish, I'll kiss his fish. Or Brandon. Yeah. Or Brandon. Sure. Oh, or oh, that's it. okay. Little guy. You better start singing while you're getting that fish. Retro bassin, kicking some assin, wearing rayon jackets, but I'm not because it's really freaking hot. <laughs> there he is. Who's kissing this one? Oh, shoot. Did I promise? I did promise it, didn't I? Yeah. I think I did. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, but if you foul, hook it. Um, you actually don't have to kiss it. I don't think that was in the bylaws. No, so, we, yeah. yeah, we should have talked about that. I feel like that was probably something. A foul hook is we got to get these fish back in as quickly as possible. So really, it's probably not in the fish's best interest to. Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> all right, we'll... that'll get edited. Uh, all right, Tom. No. Yeah, it's you. It's you, bud. <sighs> oh. Damn COVID. <laughs> oh. We'll edit that right out. Definitely. That won't make the video. Don't worry, Tom. It will definitely be edited out. You're 100 percent safe. You guys would are never show that to such subscribers. Such good friends. Retro passing bro code. Yeah. Such good friends. <laughs> Got him by. Oh my god. That's hilarious. There you go. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about build dance, watching these fish prance through my ray ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 <laughs> rollers coming off of Zebco 33. Hey, Brandon. No! Hey, Brandon. Turn no. bud. Oh, nice <laughs> fish. Look at that. Full or nothing. That's uh, a bet. Uh, oh, you went slimy. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom, I owe you for two things. One, okay. I owe you for uh, me not having to kiss the second fish today. Right. On, on top of the, the song as well. Sure, sure, so sure. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Whatever I can do. <laughs> Everything is coming up, Brandon. Yes, it is. <laughs> Angry casting. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Oh, not a happy Guggen today, are you? I haven't fished a Guggen, coincidentally. You just must have. That's hilarious. Brandon, do you want to reel it in? No, I hate you right now. You can't. I literally just grabbed him. Nope. Look at that. Nope. Oh, this, I feel bad for him. That's terrible. That's a, that's a rough day. <laughs> Sorry, man. Not cool. That's right in your eyeball, homie. Dude. Oh, that's gnarly. Oh, I really did. Look at that. Right there, in his right behind the eye. I think when I yanked it, it just got him in the in the face. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry, brother. How you doing, Brandon? No, nope. Mm -mm. Like he wasn't even hungry. <laughs> I like the I like the Tom offered to give Brandon the rod. There's like a youth tournament going on, by the way. There's like a ton of boats. It's like it's like one adult, like you know, like three like five year olds. And I've seen that maneuver, so it was actually generous of him. Um, Brandon, I don't, why, did, why didn't you take him up on that? That would have been nice. I'm having a day, guys. <laughs> I'm having a day. <sighs> Happy 1000. Mm. <laughs> so I think the retro bass and gods are punishing Brandon for not fishing at old school today. Yeah. I threw the river run. I don't know what, I, I... By the way, I left my Googans in the car, FYI, just in case you get any ideas. Hey Chris, you got any Googans? <laughs> no, I don't. None. <laughs> this is no Googan. This will be a Googan free episode. <laughs> it absolutely will be Googan free. So, all right, Brandon, we, we got to do a gear check, buddy. So it's been a while since we've done this. Everyone just, they always comment that you just bring the Googans with you, but, but I know that you do have some old school baits. So if you wouldn't mind, Let's take a peek. I want to see what the oldest bait you have is, and maybe uh, we're going to make you fish with it for the last 
hour of the day here. I do. So uh, I've got uh, the trusty old river runt here, which has brought me. Oh, that's the bait that almost got you banned from Retro Basin because you used it without me. Correct. That's a goodie. Okay. <laughs> We've got uh, some old torpedoes and some newer ones as well. What, what is this? Um, is this that baby is George? A Tom Man Little George. Little George. Little George. And I got these from my grandfather in law. Um, this butte has served us well. I don't even know what that is, but it's awesome. Not sure. I think. Uh, Ooh, there's definitely some more. Oh! oh. Let's not worry about that. <laughs> it's all retro here. Um, you know what? This would be a good quiz uh, for you. Whoa, what is that? So this, you know what? I'm trying to think. It looks like a Doug English type bait. It's sort of, sort of like a bingo, but it's soft. They still sell these, um, but this is actually a Texas original bait. Ah, 100%. Oh, ooh, that, that, that. So this is from <laughs> Whopper Stopper, actually. This is a really cool, this is actually a pretty tough bait to find. I'm trying to think what the name of this thing is, but it's like almost a, a chatter bait with a jig head and a skirt. That's a whopper stopper bait though. I think it's got bird in the name of it. I don't know what. This is a Cordell Ooh. spot. Very nice. Let me see those poppers, the, the orange one. All right, is th this is another Texas original bait, the Pico Pop. Pico. You see based down in San Antonio, Texas. And now they work out, I think it's Alabama or somewhere. I what's, will say, that guy? you do your channel quite proud, knowing uh, knowing what we're working with here. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I should just make you fish with that. <laughs> it's, it's, got a, it's got a scent here <laughs> coming That's off of it. Let me see the black thing. <laughs> See, the, all right, this is another Texas bait, Whopper Stopper. This is a uh, Hellbender. Another, actually, honestly, tie him on. I think that, that'll catch a bass here. I'll tell you, I've had an awful day, so I will give anything a shot. Let's give, uh, what is this called? It's a Hellbender. We're gonna work with this Hellbender, whose name I would never forget. I think that actually might work. Nope, that's weeds. Or a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, now it's weeds. <laughs> I thought I saw the... <laughs> I saw the shadow of these weeds. I was like, what? <laughs> He's like not talking. <laughs> He is not talking. Yeah, his face went like car crash. <laughs> My face was like, don't lose oh, him. Don't. <laughs> Brandon, if he loses, the comment section is going to destroy you. Just so you know. <laughs> oh. oh. Hilarious. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. Something today. And what did you catch that on, by the way? We caught this. Is that a Guggen? Is that like a Guggen or a, or a, a Six Sense or what? Oh wait, oh, it's, oh wait, that's a oh a retro bait, huh? huh. Woo! They need an All right. Oh, sh yeah. Sorry, the light wasn't on. Sorry, dude. Because it wasn't. I missed that. I missed the fish. Sorry. Did you? I'll, I'll I'll use I'll use old footage though. I'll just put it back in. So don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so Brandon, thousand subscribers in. What is your favorite retro bass in memory? Probably just a moment ago when uh, the great retro basser himself recommended I use this Hellbender after a dry spell and using modern baits 
<laughs> but it turns out you should keep it retro after all. And whose bait was this? This is my bait. No, but whose bait was it? Was it your dad's? This was my, uh, yeah, this was my grandfather-in-law. Um, gave me all his old fishing tackle before he passed away. So uh, this one's, uh, this one goes out to Paul. Favorite retro bass in memory. Thanks, Paul. Hi, <laughs> right, Mr. Lamb. What is your favorite retro bass in memory? <laughs> uh, I like that time when I caught the fish by its face. That was a good... <laughs> Because uh, that's just how good I am. I don't even need lips, bro. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I... Broke the tip. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Who barely. <laughs> hey Chris, what's your favorite moment of retro bassin? <laughs> I think it's when Brandon broke his rod because he tried to swing a fish in. <laughs> You know what, I guess you're gonna have to need a, you need like an ugly stick. Like a good retro ugly stick. Alright, right. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh, what am I gonna do with this? Oh. So that's gonna have gnarly teeth, right? <laughs> yes, it's gonna have gnarly teeth. It's a car. Oh no. I don't know what to do with that. I think we have a, a net, maybe. Oh god. Do I, do I grab that? No. Dude, what do I do with that? Wow. That is bonkers. That is bonkers. Oh. Okay, we did it. Oh. <laughs> did you shake him off? We did. Oh, yeah, I did shake him off. Oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that probably ended better than it could have. <laughs> Son. Oh, that thing was slimy. Wow. I've never caught one of those before. Uh, <laughs> well, everybody, this has been a very retro day. Um, thanks for hanging in. Thanks for the first. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being part of the first thousand subscribers to Retro Bassin. Um, that was a wild one, huh? <laughs> See you guys. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.